It's a schoolboy football man in come as we see their starting lineup. So in goal they have Jaheem Williams a back three of Alex Xavier Gooden, J. Lloyd Smith, and Kemar Thompson. Five in the middle of the park. Richard Livingston, Ajitai Marshall, Dwayne Atkinson, Kevin Hall, and the two men at top, the 14 goal man Leon Brown, and he's joined by Dwayne, make that Andre Salmon who also has a nine goals for assists, the coach by Philip Williams. 3-5-2 is what they will play, and yeah, great to see, and very important for them, that, yeah, is back into the starting lineup. How much? Dwayne Atkinson. Yeah. And coming off of injury, seven goals, seven assists to him so far, and I think that will add more balance to the start starting lineup. Here's a look at Mona High. Akeem Bernard, the three goal man, is in goal. Stevon Johnson, Dante Peralta, Carlton Brown, Alex Suazo, Kishane Gordon, Romarion Thomas, Rubino Gordon, Denzel McKenzie, Demario Harris, and Maquan Parchment. They are coached by Craig Butler. Dangerous going forward. Akeem Bernard has been brilliant between the sticks for Mona High. Have missed quite a few penalties of recent. Diamond 5 is their formation. Not sure how you want to fully describe that. Decision day. Carvel Banton sent off this encounter, and in the seventh minute, from a free kick, that flick on header by Rabina Gordon gave Mona the one nil advantage. Yeah, he went low at the near post, and Jaheim Williams didn't have enough. J. Lloyd Smith didn't have enough to bring it out either. Rabina Gordon, 14 goals this season. They would continue to push forward through Kishane Gordon, and he fired wide. Jaheim Williams put in a hand to it, but nothing was on it. In the 21st minute, ball played forward for Romarian Thomas. Jaheim Williams tried to take him out, but he stood ground. Played it to Denzel McKenzie, who fired home. 2-0 for Mona. And Denzel McKenzie, 20 assists, 10 goals. What a season he's having, the number 10 for Mona. Here's another look at the shot. A clean finish. Poor defending all around from St. Andrew Technical. And the keeper was trying to hold up the play, but the referee ignored his plight. Joy for Craig Butler and Kevin Jones, the principal of Mona. McKenzie would come forward. J. Lloyd Smith was a judge to have fouled him, got a yellow card for it as well. Penalty spot. 12 yards, rejection, rejection from Jaheim Williams. A crucial save that would have given St. Andrew Technical a hope. They had that attempt in the second half, the free kick from Delaney White over the crossbar. They also tried to come forward here. Carlton Brown taking down Alex Xavier Gooden, rising to a yellow card, a second yellow sent off on the occasion, but he still had calm. He had the final whistle, Mona having the semi-final berth. Here are the match st statistics. No shot on target from 10 attempts from St. Andrew Technical. That's telling. Three on target from 13 attempts from Mona. 17 fouls, nine of them to Mona. They had two yellow cards. St. Andrew Technical had one. One red card for Mona, they had one offside. Corner split in the middle, four apiece. One save made by Jaheim Williams in goal. 60% of the possession for Mona. Two goals to go along with that possession and a berth to the semi-final and the Champions Cup. Kimani O'Sullivan is standing by with the Digicel Man of the Match. Thank you, Dean. I'm joined by Digicel Man of the Match, Robinio Gordon of Mona High School. He'll be presented with his Man of the Match award from Kadeen Webley, junior brand manager of Digicel. Robinio, let's have a quick chat. 
You're into the semi-finals once again. How happy are you that you could have defeated Stats today and get to that round? Well, I'm very happy with myself. And in terms of that goal, the flick on, what was going through your mind when the free kick was coming into the box? Well, I owe my team a lot, so I just have to do it. And in terms of owing your team a lot, what, what exactly do you? Miss penalty last few match, ja, it's a must win. Well, I have to do it my own field, so that's it. And in terms of penalties, um, Mona tends to rotate their penalty kicks a lot. Um, is penalty shootouts on the menu in training coming up? No. No. Okay. Thank you, Robinho. All the best. All right. Yeah, that's man of the match, Robinho Gordon of semi finalists. <laughs> It's, it's a schoolboy football man in